Good day. I am Trisha Jane B. De Leon of class CHE 22S2. I'll be presenting my CHE problem solver using MATLAB and I'll show you the questions, quotes, and their results. My problem solver consists of four different courses, which are thermodynamics, analytical chemistry, physical chemistry 1, and physical chemistry 2. For each course, I have four questions for a total of 16 questions for all the courses. Here's how the code looks like for the start of my MATLAB problem solver. For the first course, we have the thermodynamics. Here, I'll be showing you four problems and their answers. The first problem is 6 moles of a certain gas with conditions measured at 0.9 atm of pressure and 3 of volume was put in a piston cylinder. When the setup was heated with no changes to its pressure, the volume was determined to be 3.6 liters. Calculate the final temperature of the gas. And you can see here the code. After you enter the code, the result would be 6 moles of a certain gas with conditions measured at 0.9 atm of pressure and 3 of volume was put in a piston cylinder. When the setup was heated with no changes to its pressure, the volume was determined to be 3.6 liters, the final temperature of the gas. Enter the amount of moles, 6. Enter the amount of pressure, which is 0.9, and enter the initial volume, 3, and enter the final volume, 3.6. The final temperature of the gas is 6.58 Kelvin. For the second problem, when the constant pressure heat capacity is 70 J per mole K, what is the constant volume heat capacity? You will input the code, which is there, and after you input the code, the result would be when the constant pressure heat capacity is 70 J per mole K, what is the constant volume heat capacity? Enter the constant pressure heat capacity, which is 70. The constant volume heat capacity is 61.69. The third problem for thermodynamics is calculate the work in J done by a sample of 1.5 mol AR gas that expands isothermally from 1.5 liters to 2 liters at 278 Kelvin. According to the following condition against a constant external pressure of 1 atm. You will input the code and after you input the code, the result would be calculate the work J done by a sample of 1.5 mol AR gas that expands isothermally from 1.5 liters to 2 liters at 278 Kelvin. According to the following condition, against a constant external pressure of 1 atm. Enter the external pressure against the system in atmospheric pressure, which is 1. Enter the initial vo volume of AR gas in liters, which is 1.5. Enter the final volume of AR gas in liters, which is 2. The work done by the sample argon gas in joules is negative 50.66. For the last problem... For the course thermodynamics, when the constant pressure heat capacity is 96.75 joules per mole Kelvin, what is the constant volume heat capacity? You'll input the code and after you input that code, the result would be when the constant pressure heat capacity is 96.75 joules per mole Kelvin, what is the constant volume heat capacity? Enter the constant pressure heat capacity, which is 96.75. The constant volume heat capacity is 88.44. Moving on to our next course, which is analytical chemistry, I also have four different problems and their codes and their answers. For the first problem, determine the molarity of one mole of cobalt chloride in 10.8 liters of solution 
you'll input the code, and after you input the code, the result would be determine the molarity of one mole of cobalt chloride in 10.8 liters of solution. Enter the moles of solute, which is 1. Enter the volume of solution, which is 10.8. The molarity of the solution is 0 0.09. The second problem is you have a 9.67 liters of a solution that contains 3.9 mole of sodium chloride. Find the molarity of the solution. As you can see, there's the code and the result would be you have 9.67 liters of a solution that contains 3.9 mole of sodium chloride. Find the molarity of the solution. Enter the moles of the solute, which is 3.9. Enter the volume of the solution in liters, which is 9.67. The molarity of the mixture is 0 0.40. For the third problem, if 500 grams of chlorine is dissolved in water, so that the volume of the solution is 692 ml, what would be its concentration? When the molar mass is 35.453 g per mole. After you encode the code, the result should be if 500 grams of chlorine is dissolved in water so that the volume of the solution is 692 ml, what would be its concentration? Enter the mass of solute, which is 500. Enter the molar mass of solute, which is 35.453. And lastly, you need to enter the volume of solution in liters, which is 0 0.692. The concentration is 20.38. The last problem for analytical chemistry is what is the mass of solute in a 10.93 liter solution of 0 0.672 m glucose? The molar mass is 180.156 grams per mole. After you enter the code, the result should be what is the mass of solute in a 10.93 L solution of 0 0.672 m glucose? You will enter m is equals to 180.156 grams per mole. You need to enter the molarity of solution, which is 0 0.672. And you will enter the molar mass of solute, which is 180.156. Lastly, you need to enter the volume of solution in liters, which is 10.93. The mass would be 1,323.24. Moving on to our third course, which is Physical Chemistry 1. Our first problem is calculate the pressure exerted by 2.31 grams of carbon dioxide compiled in a flask of volume 180 cubic decimeter at 298 Kelvin. After you input the code, the result would be you need to enter the mass of substance, which is 2.31 you need to enter the R values, which is 8.314. You need to enter the temperature, which is 298. The molar mass of the substance is 44.01. Lastly, you need to enter the volume, which is 180. The pressure would be 0 0.72. For our next problem, the question is, what is the pressure given 2.50 moles of substance in a 2.3 liter flask at 325.15 Kelvin? After you enter the code, the result would be Enter the moles of substance, which is 2.50 Enter the R values, which is 8.314 Enter the temperature, which is 325.15 and lastly, you need to enter the volume, which is 2.3. The pressure would be 2,938.37. The third problem is, what would be the temperature if a 3.33 substance is kept in a 2.20 liters tube at 2.3 atm? After you enter the code, the result would be, you need to enter the moles of substance, which is 3.33 Enter the R value, 
which is 0 0.08205. Enter the pressure, which is 2.3 atm. And lastly, you need to enter the volume, which is 2.20. The result is temperature is equals to 18.52. For the last problem of physical chemistry 1, the question is, find the volume if the substance contains 4 moles compressed in 6 atm at 298 kelvin. After you enter the code, the result should be, enter the moles of substance, which is 4, enter the R value, which is 0 0.08205, Enter the temperature, which is 298 Kelvin. And lastly, enter the pressure, which is 6 atm. The volume is 16.30. Moving on to our last course, which is Physical Chemistry 2. The first problem for Physical Chemistry 2 is, what is the molar entropy of a system going through isobaric heating from 273.15 Kelvin to 415 Kelvin? Assume that the gas is diatomic. After you enter the code, the result would be asking for you to enter the specific heat at constant pressure when gas is diatomic, which is 7 over 2. You need to enter the initial temperature in Kelvin, which is 273.15. And lastly, you need to enter the final temperature in Kelvin, which is 415. The molar entropy in joules per Kelvin mole is 12.17. For the second problem, in a system, a polyatomic gas is heated through an isometric process from 210 Kelvin to 590 Kelvin. Calculate the molar entropy. Enter the specific heat at constant volume when gas is polyatomic. After you enter the code, the result would be Enter the specific heat at constant volume when gas is polyatomic, which is 3. Enter the initial temperature in Kelvin, 210 and last, you need to enter the final temperature in Kelvin, which is 590. The molar entropy in joules per mole Kelvin is 30.06. The third problem is the change in volume accompanying fusion of solid carbon dioxide is negative 0 0.000259 cubic meter per mole. Determine the change in molar Gibbs energy of fusion when the pressure is increased from 15 Pascal to 350 Pascal. After you enter the code, the result would be enter the change in volume in cubic meter per mole, which is negative 0 0.000259. Enter the initial pressure in Pascals, 15 Enter the final pressure in Pascals, 350. The molar Gibbs energy in joules per mole is negative 0.09. For the last problem, calculate the change in the molar Gibbs energy of a perfect gas when its pressure increase isothermally from 95 atm to 185 atm at 298 kelvin. After you enter the code, the result would be, enter the initial pressure in ATM, which is 95, enter the final pressure in ATM, 185, lastly, enter the change in volume in Kelvin, 298. The molar Gibbs energy in joules per mole is 1,651.25. That's all for this presentation of CHE Problem Solver. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from me. Thank you for watching my video.